Welcome to What's the 4 one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I am Onika McLean. And we have got a treat for you. We are interviewing the very multifaceted and dynamic artist Fatih. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Originally from Monrovia, Liberia, she is a new face of Afro pop. And she also has 275 performances under her belt. So really? You are a powerhouse, girl. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thing. Thank you for, for having me here. So wait a minute. That's a lot. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I love that. No, perfect. it's it is oh, perfect. Amazing. Yes. By yes. God's grace, I am. Mm. Uh, where you are your accent? Where are you from? Well, okay. So I was born in Liberia. Mm -hmm. I took my first few steps in um, Abidjan, oh, and uh, um, after the war, my family. Well, before, I'm sorry, before the war, my family moved mm -hmm. to St. Louis, Missouri. So okay. if you hear the Southern Twins. That's a little okay. something there. It's from, it's from St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So, I mean, you've been doing things professionally for seven years, correct? Like, how did you get into performing? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, see, I've been performing. So I'll tell the story. Like, when it first, as soon as I exit my mother's womb, <laughs> <laughs> I did not cry. I was singing. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so and cute. And that was like, you know what? She's Look at that <laughs> that <laughs> So I've I pretty much been doing it um, all of my life. Since I can remember, I've been performing. Wow. Okay. I, 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 rem I have a fond memory of me being on stage uh, and people, when I was an African, people were throwing money while I was dancing. So really? I've been doing this for a while, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing this. So, I was I was born to do it. Yes. So were you always, were you writing, compose, when did you start writing, composing, producing, like all of that stuff? Okay, so when I was around seven or eight, Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know how to write, so I used to take Anita Baker's lyrics, Patti LaBelle's lyrics, and different, different, you know. Right, right. And you know, back when they had, used to have the CD cover. Yeah, because you don't want to. Yeah, and I used to. You're like, dating yourself, girl. Uh -uh, I'm not, I'm not dating myself. I'm just saying, remember, <laughs> remember when that, you know, I'm just saying that. <laughs> When no, she was a fetus, she, come yeah, on, I was a come fetus. on. I was okay. in the womb, and I say, "Mama, you know." Oh, because the millennials do not know about that. They go on lyrics.com. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but I used to put the lyrics together. My mom was like, "Baby, you can't do that. You have to write your own." So right. she get, she bought me a notebook, and I was like started writing every single day. And it was right. actually my father when I got older that really encouraged me saying, you know, you need to write, you need to produce, you need to do everything that's mm -hmm. behind the artist because that's mm -hmm. where the money is. It is. Right. It so is. That makes so much yeah. sense. I say that to Imani yeah. all the time. My daughter's a, a, a performer and a writer mm -hmm. and a songwriter. It's true. And, and not even the money. That's where that's where the real the gift artistry is. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's <laughs> and and really like writing since I was a little kid, it's like I know the sound, I know my sound, and some producers don't know it. Mm -hmm. exactly. So that's how I had to create my own sound. You know, right, so. right. right. So talk about kind of your creative process. Yes. You're talking about the sound and all that. Like, how does that come together? Well, when I'm writing, sometimes it. I may hear the beat right away. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's a good song when I when I can visualize the video as I'm writing. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. So when I get stuck, I <laughs> I like I put the notebook down and I you know I kind of improv in my room like, like as if I'm like in the video that mm -hmm. I'm seeing and that helps me get to the next line. Oh, of right. Really? So I actually oh. have a whole little performance in my own little private space as I'm writing. Yeah. Or I like I hit the table to mm -hmm. the beat or something like that. Yeah. Yes. That is amazing. That is really amazing. So you have like this EP out right mm -hmm. now, and there's a lot of great. Every song is good, y'all. Every song is good. Nice. You guys Talk gotta about check it out. We're gonna have the links to um to this video, right? We could do that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk mm -hmm. about some of the inspiration behind some of those songs. So you have like some really great songs, very inspiring and motivational as well. Mm -hmm. What is it? About? So okay, what's well, the name of my album? It's called Give Me More. And the reason why I call it that is when you hear it, you're gonna want more and more mm -hmm. and more. <laughs> is, this your, is this your first this album? This is my, my very first album. Very this first is my album. Baby. This is your baby. Oh. My baby. So, how many songs on your EP? Eight songs. Okay. Eight mm -hmm. songs. I wanted nine, but I'm saving that one. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like my Are you that's self, my weapon. Are you self okay. producing? Mm. I am. I, um, I am self. I'm self. I'm working with other producers as well. Mm -hmm. um, a producer in Africa. His name is Tubi. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm working with him and my brother. Um, so we all work together. He's your biggest hype man. He, no, is. he is such a hype man. That's my we manager too. We so. were in there and yeah. he was like singing with it and like, yeah, yeah, you got your full attention kids. You need to look at this. I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed the 
It's a party. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, no, no, you, you get in. All right, cool. Thank but you. um, I um, it, before that, I decided before um, I created my album, I wanted to uh, quit my job to pursue Broadway. Oh, so really? I, I, what were I, you doing before, just out of curiosity? I was a fitness and nutrition coordinator oh. for a non-for-profit organization. Oh. So okay. I nice. was working in public health. But mm-hmm. Was it in Africa or here? It was actually in Chicago. Okay. It was in Chicago. How did you get to Chicago? I went to Columbia College okay. in Chicago. Nice. So I grew up in St. Louis uh-huh. and then co- college I went to Columbia. Okay. Yeah, I went to Columbia and uh, I studied music management and after college, I decided to, to pursue Broadway. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> singer, 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 whatever they wanted. Triple threat. Wow. Whatever they yeah, wanted. I was, everything. I was, was ready. Yeah, so I went to the interview. I thought that I didn't have to audition. They were just going to see me. They were like, spot me. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, right. It didn't work out that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> like, so, yeah. so it was really discouraging. So my dad, he called me and he was like, you know, why don't you just come to Africa, clear your mind, because I wasn't working, so I was able so to. So your dad lives in Africa. Yeah, mm-hmm. he lives in Africa. So, I, mm-hmm. I, you know, so I, I went to Africa and he sat me down. He was like, well, when you were younger, you wanted to be a singer, mm-hmm. you know, you, you wanted to do this. Are you serious about it? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. And he was like, okay, if you're serious, the family and I will support you. That is a beautiful thing, because yeah. a lot of times African families, even Caribbean families, they want you to be the doctor or the lawyer or this or that, like singers. Like, what? Well, Liberia is a what? little bit different, because Liberians yeah. were in America, right? Mm-hmm. And then they That's went so back. It's just going on. I'm, I'm grateful. Right? I'm grateful. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, grateful. Mm. Like, my, my family, they believe it. Believe mm-hmm. it. We, we believe pretty much. We're really tight. So mm-hmm. we we support each other. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever your dream is. Like, oh, okay, you want to be an actress? Okay, baby, go. That's yeah, beautiful. That's, 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 that's beautiful. My family. So my father's like, you're going to do it. Make sure you write. Make sure you produce your thing. Make sure you do it. So I gave myself a year. Mm-hmm. To uh, complete my album, to write my album, mm-hmm. um, I did it in five months. I locked That's myself incredible. up in the, my apartment in Chicago. I did not go out. Um, I had food uh, sent to me. Um, the only time <laughs> I Uber left, eats. Uber eats, yeah. It, 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 the only time I left was wow. You, know, to you go guys walking. listening to what she is saying? <laughs> this is she this. puts Dedication. everything on hold. For her dream. I didn't, yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go to any clubs or nothing. I just, and for, like, for the five months, I, um, and yeah. I, I had to because they were putting pressure on me. Right. My family was like, did you write that? Did you write that? Did you write that? I'm like, <laughs> did so you how did that? you did know that? it was complete? Uh, I think I was just tired. <laughs> you was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This this it. Right, right, right. Oh, this was it. But I actually, I did the six songs. So when we, okay, so when I did six, he said, okay. When I, okay, I didn't know he? my father. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know the genre I wanted to go into mm-hmm. um, after I finished writing it. After, okay, so when I, before I put pen to paper, mm-hmm. I speak out into the universe what I want the song to feel like and mm-hmm. how I want people to, oh, you know, that's what that's I do. Very so I sit, I sit, process. yeah, I sit quietly and meditate, meditate um. and either sometimes it comes when I'm sitting quiet or when I'm listening to other music or, you know, this mm-hmm. happens. So, um, what was I saying? I you were talking that. about the genre. You didn't know what the genre oh, I didn't was going to I didn't yet. know the genre right. that I was, that I was going to do. And when I was finished, I was like, this has an Afro pop, Afro beat type feel. I was like, I want to do my album in Africa. Oh. I want those authentic sounds. I want to work with uh, producers yes. that were from Africa. I want to go back to Africa and do my album. Like, that is amazing. Actually, um, no, I went to Abidjan. You know what? Hold that thought. Because okay. I want to talk about a whole Africa segment when we come back. Keep it locked, guys. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz Zinkerpel. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, bro. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one where we're talking to Fatih. She nice. is a very dynamic artist, and we're talking to her now about the influence on her album, Afrobeats, and, and why that came about. Afropop? Afropop. 
So it's, it's pop music. music. It's, po it's basically po popular music with African sound. Okay. To me, I think of Afrobeat as like a big old gumbo pop with different oh. sounds. That's how I. That's how I. Uh, okay. Afrobeat. So it's Afrobeat, Afro pop. It has a nice little, mm -hmm. you know, right. rich well, soul. Up, up yeah. Tempo. Up, it's Afro. Oh. Afro pop is sounds a little bit more commercialized to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would David O. B. consider? Afrobeat. He's Afro. Okay. Afro yeah. Oh, okay. Afro so that's Beat. different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, do, 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 do. Yeah. I like that song. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't have no <laughs> idea what the hell is that. Like that. <laughs> it's a good song. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went back to the continent and reconnected in order to, to do it. And I what did. was that process like? Uh, as soon as I got there, literally, I flew in, and then the very next day, I went to the studio. Mm -hmm. I did six songs in six days. Um, I already knew how I want the sound. Uh -huh. um, the the beat was already created, uh, somewhat created. Right, right. <laughs> um, and uh, I did six songs in six days, and I thought I was finished. Ooh. I thought I was done. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I want to go to the beach and celebrate. So uh -huh. my dad took me to a scene. Um, it's a private island mm -hmm. in um, Abidjan, and we were out, you know, looking at the beautiful water mm -hmm. and eating African food, a chicken, <laughs> food, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and the. Um, and just celebrating. I don't know if it was the weather or what it was, but I immediately felt a burning sensation in my gut, like a song is coming. Really? Yeah, I did. It was like a physical Birthing. feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I ran back to my room, and uh, as soon as soon as I like closed the door, I heard, "Give me more, give me, give me." Yes, the one. Yes. Try to hide it. Yes. I will be loved. I'm so so it took me, it, it literally took me an hour to write it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time I got stuck, I, I couldn't see the water, but I closed my eyes and I imagined it. Mm -hmm. And that helped yes. me get to the to the, to the the next part. But, oh yeah, but before I wrote that, mm -hmm. I spoke out into the universe. I said, I want to write a song. I didn't know. It's good. It's, you know, I want right. to write a song about universal love. And I want everybody and anybody to connect with this song. Oh, that is so beautiful. And that and it was created. Then the next day I recorded it and... My last, my, the, the last song that I thought was, you know, was, was actually my first song. My that first is singing. so amazing. And I yeah. see that, like, being on a beach and yeah. having that old vibe and everything like that. Yeah. The water. The, yeah, so how's beautiful. the video? Um, tell us about the video that's in your mind for that song. Well, the video she did it. She did it. It's already created. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, well, the video, it's a, 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 Mm -hmm. If it was a color, it's really vibrant color, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So that's how the video is. It's like is. your yeah. lipstick, mm -hmm. which yeah. I'm actually coming out with a lipstick. Oh, right. <laughs> I love this. I love that. I love, I love those, those um, the sparkles. Mm -hmm. I just like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but it was done in Miami. We did it in two days. Uh, we had to come back and shoot the um, the beach scene because it's it rained on us. Oh, but man. we did it in two days and. Um, the the seamstress that um, did um, I designed the outfits and she she created I ask you about she that. created the, the the seamstress did it in two weeks mm -hmm. um, so you waste no time I like how you just get to it and you're just like dedicated and you move forward that's yeah. it yeah that has a lot to do with my father yeah. <laughs> he's like you have to stay on and you know you got to make sure you, you got to be about your business and you it's know that's true. that's my father that you know mm -hmm. right. Well, yeah. right well I like the fact that you decided to do like Afro pop right mm -hmm. because right now I mean like Several years now, it's mm -hmm. been coming up. You talked about Afro beats mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. Seems to be having finally its moment. So, Isn't it right? as, America's yeah. just now exactly yeah. like the UK Brits, was yeah. on it years ago, and then we're just mm -hmm. getting into it. So, how does that feel as an African woman to finally see Af West African music get its due? Honestly, I think I just came in this industry at the right time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and. I'm really grateful because it's it's really good. It's feel good music, mm -hmm. and so I don't care who the artist is. If you hear the music, your body just like, starts moving. Your body just starts moving. So um, uh, that that type of music, we need that. In, you know, in America, we need the love. We need the the richness. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah, we, we do. need that. So I'm excited about. It. I, I'm I'm grateful that I'm I'm able. I'm releasing music at this time when it's actually. You know, right. right when people are ready for it, yeah, yeah, exactly. and it's gonna be received mm -hmm. quite well, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh, while we're on the topic of Africa, mm -hmm. I hear that you had an amazing time opening for Cool in the Gang, I did, yes, in Nairobi, Kenya. So, tell us about that, yes. What if I okay, so <laughs> yeah, how did that come up? So yeah, cool is my uncle. Oh, what? Really? So do you know? What? Wait, what's that's that guy. Oh, guys. oh man, we just interviewed him. Prince like, maybe. Yes, 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 yes,
Okay. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. Ruth, we just had a moment. We just had a moment. We just had a moment. Yeah, we're all our executive, pro- not. executive producer's shaking her head. But she's you know, not we happy with yeah. us right Prince now. Prince Hakeem, go to YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV, check it out. Shout out y'all, to y'all, yeah. y'all know Hakeem. I'll be messing up. And cool, 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 cool <laughs> the gang, shout out to. Yeah, right. so he, they, he asked me to, to perform on the stage. Um, uh-huh. When I showed up at the uh, the park, mm-hmm. I, I we turned the corner. I didn't see the amount of people. Until mm-hmm. I turned the corner, and as soon as I turned the corner, I had a nervous breakdown. Oh my God. I had a nervous breakdown. I was like, I am not getting on that stage. And I got out the car. My father was like, Get on stage right now. Get a go. Get I was like, no, I can't do it. No. Right. And I and I literally had like a nervous breakdown backstage. And my mom, thank God for mothers, mm-hmm. she took her hand, yeah, smacked <laughs> the mess out of me, and say, Listen, you did not come all the way. Right. Oh, America to Africa to, to be fearful. I grabbed that mic. How y'all doing out there? <laughs> yes. 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 Exactly. yes. So because of that, I, I re- that experience helped me because like I don't think about the fear. I just like, okay, I have to do it. You gotta do so it anyway. You gotta do you it, gotta anyway. Do it anyway. anyway. So you the experience was really good. It was You were sing were you singing or were you doing I was music? singing. Okay. I was singing one of a song that I wrote a um, long time ago. Um, mm. I think it's called Cutie. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. <laughs> no, it's one of the cute, cute little bubblegum song that I wrote. Um, and uh, it was in front of five hundred thousand people. That is so many people. That is so people. many people. That's like you can't even visualize that. You know? Can you like, even see those people when you're on the stage? You just you can't like, because it, it look it just look like a sea of people. Just, mm-hmm. just you know. Oh my god. Yeah. So once you got over the nerves, was it like the adrenaline of it oh was. my gosh, I'm in front it of was. all these people? And it made me feel really good because they didn't really know me, you mm-hmm. know, at the time. And they were rocking. They were rocking with me, and then they were like trying to reach for my hand. I'm like, you want to touch my hand? <laughs> you screaming for me? <laughs> it felt really good. It really yes. felt. It felt really good because they, um, they, nice. if it's, if the music is good, they don't care who, who the artist. They just, no. like, they just like the music. They it's really, just about the universe, yeah. about the wave, mm-hmm. right? The vibe yep. of it. The vibe. And it was for a benefit, right? Yeah, but, um, it was a, uh, AIDS, um, uh, United Against AIDS globally. Mm-hmm. Um, no glove, no love. So it was, you know, we're nice. No glove, no mm-hmm. love. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Remember that, folks. Remember no that. Glove, no love. Um, <laughs> I'll be done with the L-O-V-E love. <laughs> <laughs> Put the glove. Put on that glove. <laughs> I mean, it's overrated, but you, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, you didn't just go to the continent back then. You're back and forth between the continent. Mm-hmm. You were just in Ghana a few months ago. Yeah. And you had your little debut there. I had a concert. In Are Ghana. you talking about that? Are you touring a little? Yes, I'm doing a media tour right now. Mm-hmm. I, I did a concert. That my first one was in Ghana for, mm-hmm. uh, for as. Foxy is my, you know, mm-hmm. releasing my, my album. Right. And then I, d- I did a few songs off my album in Ghana. Mm-hmm. We performed in front of um, the press mm-hmm. at a lounge. And then mm-hmm. after that, I went to Abidjan and I did a concert there. Oh my God, yeah. that is amazing. Yeah, I did a oh concert there. And uh, I'm actually going to do a concert with Cool again in September. Um, oh, you know September. what? Hold that thought. Okay. Because we are going to take another break and we will be back with part three with our interview with Fati. Nice. <laughs> Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 4 and 1 and our interview with Fati. She's talking to us about what she has going on now and her work on the continent of Africa. Yeah. So, yeah, you were saying that you were touring and that you're going to have something else coming up in September. Yes, I'm, um, I'll be, uh, we're doing a memorial service for my aunt. She passed mm, away, so sorry. we're going to, um, you know, a celebration of life for okay. her in um, South Africa. We're doing four countries. Mm, um, okay. Yeah, uh, so I'm excited. 
Oh my God, that's like, amazing! And they just celebrate their 50 year anniversary, so I'm just like, oh, love, L O V E. This is cool. This is cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So just to be a part, I know I did it before, mm-hmm. but at the time I was young, you mm-hmm. know. So now I'm older. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to share stage. <laughs> Wait a you know, so it's you know, so yes. it's, and you ready? You I'm can ready feel now. Yeah. It. She ready? Yeah. She ready? She ready? <laughs> <laughs> but talk about. I'm like, I like that we're talking about Africa, right? Because a lot of people who may not have been to the continent, maybe don't know a whole lot of people from the continent, still have this kind of idea mm-hmm. about Africa, like one place and like not Sally, developed and all of that. Sally Struthers, right? Oh my gosh, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yeah, I, the same thing that we have here in America. We mm-hmm. have it in Africa. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's the ghetto there, and there's the ghetto here. There's mm-hmm. wealthy parts there. The food is amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rare. <laughs> Are they really? You I know what? Take you a know what? Running joke with this Amadou that she said that trip. wasn't Gotta very good. It, de- it depends. <laughs> For me, no, no shade to anybody, but it just really depends on what your type is, what right. you like. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I would say, <laughs> the, if they breathe, then they breathe. If they breathe, then they achieve it. Sometimes. <laughs> they they breathe. Sometimes they don't need to breathe. Okay. Sometimes they don't need to breathe. <laughs> just let you sit there. <laughs> oh, and just look for you. Just no. let me admire you. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no, but Africa is where I think everybody should experience it. It feels like home. The right. food is amazing. Um, the it's beautiful um, monuments and you know right. buildings like don't be a, right know, yeah you know like everybody should experience that every black person should experience so you're that. a full concert. fledged artist that's all you do this is this is all I, I quit my job I dedicated my life to how 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 scary was that? Because I know Steve Harvey always talks about you got to take the jump. So can you just tell me about that jump? Okay, before mm-hmm. I took the uh, leap of faith, mm-hmm. it started off feeling anxiety at my uh, at the job that I worked at that nine to five. That that I don't, it was just one day I on. woke up and I went to work and I was just like I can't do this anymore. Yeah. And it went from there to having anxiety to like having depression and can't can't sleep because I'm I'm thinking about you know being on stage and singing so it's like I'm mean, like my like my dreams would wake me wake me up that's how intense it was and I would wake up crying like oh my god I want this so bad <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one day I came home and I cr- and I was crying and I called my sister and I was like I can't do this anymore so she was like well, what do you want to do and at the time I was like I want to do pro- well I still do but um, she was and like you will I, I, and she I will and I right. what happens is your gift makes a way for you, right? Mm-hmm. Because Tony Braxton has done Broadway, right? And you'll be there. I'll be right, there. It's exactly. not my time yet. They, they exactly. just bow down. They're gonna have to bow down when it's time to right. queen. It's queen. Gonna, Remember that song? Gonna, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a different, a different meeting. It, it will. Right. It will. You, they'll be calling you. You'll be, like, you be like, wait a minute. Oh, now you wanna call? Now you wanna call? Let me put you in. <laughs> in my calendar. I have time. In my calendar. Let for my you. people call your people. <laughs> no, but um, I. I called her and I was like, I can't do this anymore. So she was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to do Broadway. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you're in Chicago. Where is Broadway? I'm like, well, there's Broadway's in New York, you know, Mm -hmm. Broadway. She was like, well, she cussed me out. She's like, well, move, you know, so I was like, well, move. So I gave myself a year. Mm-hmm. Save, save my money. Um, I like within that year, I wrote words of affirmation around my house. I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. I didn't tell right, anybody that I was quitting give my job. Time to germinate. Yeah, yeah, gotta, yeah. yeah exactly. germinate. And I didn't exactly. want anybody, anything negative, like anybody telling me like you can't do it because because mm-hmm. it was hard. Cause I didn't think I can at the time because it was mm-hmm. scary mm-hmm. quitting something that you're comfortable with. You know, getting a consistent check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's what it is. People fear keeps you. <laughs> away from pursuing your dreams. Mm-hmm. But I I just I didn't want to um I didn't want to um sow seeds in someone else's dream. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm birthing someone else's dream. Like that that job was someone else's dream. Like I want to wow. birth out my dream. So I had to think about what's important. Right. You know, so it was it was it was scary, but I think that having God, I I was I pr- prayed a lot, God, um my my siblings, my fam, you know, my family and my and close friends, you know, letting me know, girl, you got this, you can do it. I think that helped me to really to take, that, take leap. that leap. And, yeah. and your dad. And it my seems dad, like you're yeah. very close to your father. Yeah, I'm close to all of them. Right. My, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really close to all of them. 
life. Yeah. Okay, so now you're out here living your dream. So is there anyone that you dream ever collaborating with? Say even maybe Akon or somebody yes. like that? I would love to work with Akon, Missy Elliott. Oh, I, know, yes. I know that's not really. No, no, but, no, but I, I, can see the, I can see that influence mm-hmm. in one of your songs. She's I can a, see it. She's a free spirit. Yeah, yeah of course. I, can, I would love to work with Missy Elliott. Some of the African artists, Afrobeat artists, I would love to work with. Like? T.Y. Savage, mm-hmm. Afrobeat. Um, it's an, um, she's, She's underrated, mm-hmm. but I love her music. Her name is Shekinah. I believe she's from South Africa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would love to do something really chill with her. Right. Um, uh, I'm uh, listen. Okay. <laughs> I am open. open. I am open. open. Yeah. It's true. Right. It is. I, you know what? At, at, I, I believe that you know it's, it, everything's about timing. Oh my Everything's God. by timing. So if you stay focused, stay on the right path, stay prayerful, surround yourself with the right people, and stick to your goals mm-hmm. everything's gonna fall into place so what do you want from your music like what do you want me People to receive to take away from your and music. what do you want from your music I want my music I want I I, I want I'm, I'm creating feel good music so mm-hmm. I want you whenever you feeling down when you're happy whatever it is put my music on and I want my music to uplift you mm-hmm. you know that's why one of the songs that I wrote uh, my next single Queen I said I wanted to write a song. Um, I love that song, by the way. I love that song. That's, it's, it's, that, that, song. That, it's, it's a little different from L-O-V-E Love. Mm-hmm. It's a little different from L-O-V-E Love. It's more up, up tempo. But I wanted to write a song that will inspire all of my beautiful queens out there. Nice. That will inspire you. That will motivate you. That will encourage you. That will remind you of who you are. And know that you are, you are the bomb. You rock. And you got this. And in the process of you crossing out your goals and, you know, uh-huh. shake a little thumb. Yeah. yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. Don't get a little twerk. Look at this, a little twerk. Not too much now, nigga. Now. You know, you know how you do. Ain't nothing wrong with a little twerk. You know what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with a little twerk. Long as I don't lose my job. <laughs> so where can we find this? Where can we find your EP? Where can people get your music? So yes. my EP, Give Me More, is available on all major uh, downloading streams. Nice. Um, my video for LOVE Love is currently out. Mm-hmm. Um, Queen, the video will be out in the next couple of weeks. Nice. Exciting. I can't wait for you guys to God. see that. We'll let you see it. Okay. Yeah, it was. it's okay. so good, y'all. You, you guys are going to love it. Thank you. And where can they see you perform next? Um, well, I, um, I do believe I, I will be performing at Gay Pride. Nice. Okay. Singers. Yeah, yeah, I'm performing at Gay Pride, so... Um, You'll be back here in New York. I'll be back here, okay. in, uh, here in New York or somewhere in the East Coast. Okay. And you yeah. have to do uh, the curl fast. You Someone to... else told me about that today. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. You have to do the curl fast, and you have to do... What's the thing that's down to... Hold Af- on. I'm Af- going to do Afro. You want to do Afro punk? I do. Oh, yeah, Afro punk. Speak Speaking so it into existence, guys. Yeah. If y'all watching it, Erica, Afro punk. Erica, Erica, Erica was just here with her. With H E R, she's on tour with her, right? Yeah, she yeah. was just here last week or Saturday. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so Erica, hey Erica, let's she's do it, right? Erica. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> I love it, Chicago. Erica, Erica. 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 Yeah, because I'm telling Erica. you, just do it. This this was amazing. This was amazing. Share y'all with your all of your social media. Okay, so you guys can follow me uh, on uh, my Facebook and Instagram is Love the Real Fati F A T I. Mm-hmm. Twitter is Official Fati One. YouTube is Fati Official. Make sure you guys like, leave a comment. It's a lot of Fatis out there. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're the real one. The love. I was, so what about Instagram? It, love the real Foxy. Yeah, yeah. So Instagram and Foxy. Facebook is Love the Real Foxy. So we're follow gonna have her, it at the bottom. Follow her. Yeah. So and we'll you have guys the follow my journey. Um, if you if you guys love music that makes you feel good and I, listen, I'm, I, I'm here for you. I'm here to feed you. I'm here to feed my kids. Yeah, <laughs> I, so love I, I love her Thank spirit Thank you too. guys. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. It was such, so much me. fun. Thank you for having me. It was right. fun. <laughs> Four one one, what's the four one one? They got the four one one. What's the four one one? They got the four one one. What's the four one one?